All right, what's going on, guys? All right, um, part three, um, dealing with uh, family court corruption. In the first two videos, I talked a little bit about uh, the court commissioner, Phoebe Mix. Um, second video, I talked a little bit about Thomas J. Walsh. Uh, he's a circuit court judge. I didn't really um, expound too much on him. I mean, you guys pretty much know, you know, <laughs> it, what what to expect with judges. I mean, they are what they are, right? Um, the judges are pretty much at the point where, like, you're you're pretty much going to have to compel them to get the results that you want, and it's all going to come down to, you know, how much knowledge and experience that you have, and. Um, and, and your ability to maneuver around, you know, all the obstacles are going to throw your way. So that comes with experience. But most judges, a lot of them, they're pretty much the same. They all follow the same process. Um, it's just, you know, the type, the personality type that seem to work in, in family court are the ones that are like, they're, they're more extreme, you know. <clears throat> they have some sort of like, believe that you know they have um, some sort of authority over people like or they have the right to determine you know who becomes a parent or not you know it doesn't matter what you know um, whether a parent has a right you know they don't care about that they just decide you know based on the circumstances who they're going to pick and they're always going to side with whoever it is that's going to benefit the system the most. In most cases, it's going to be the mother, especially the type of mother that is more um, inclined with the system, you know, relies on the system for, for everything, you know, in terms of assistance and um, educating, you know, their, their offspring, um, <clears throat> utilizing the medical system, um, utilizing community services, things, all of these things just tie you deeper into the system. So the system is going to work with people that are, that are working with them. So of course, you know, I'm, you know, probably considered, you know, anti-system, whatever. So, uh, Cause just because I believe in, uh, I, I believe that it's a parent's own responsibility to take care of their offspring. You don't need to be going to some sort of external agency to, to for assistance. You know, it's it's up to you to. It's your responsibility as a parent. You know, that's just my belief, but it doesn't matter. You know, as long as you know your intention is is for the best interest of your your offspring you have the right to raise your your offspring how you f see fit you know what people don't understand is like these judges and these people in the system they they don't they don't put their kids through all this public um through that through the public indoctrination a lot of them, all of these judges, you don't even know where they live. You know, you don't know who their kids are. They're completely private. If you try Googling th their names, like, you'll never find anything about them. You're going to have to hire an investigator to really, like, figure out who they are. But their kids don't go to public schools. Like, you know, they, they go, everything they do is private. They They understand the difference between public and private, but because they brainwash a lot of people, um, they they pretend, you know, they they put up put up this facade of this public image, you know, and they they like, you know, I call them actors because they're very good actors, and they they play this role like, you know, as though they're there to help, but really, you know, they're doing anything but help, you know. <laughs> you know? So, um, so anyway, um, in my last video, I, I talked about, you know, basically how my attorney tried to trick me. So I, pu I put a stop to his bullshit, fired him immediately, <clears throat> and took matters into my own hands. <clears throat> now, um, you know, taking matters into my 
own hands didn't automatically get me the results that I wanted um, because it you know I had to learn the hard way you know I had to make a lot of mistakes and and it was through these mistakes that I learned a lot you know which is part of the reason why I'm sharing this video so um, I maybe from my experience somebody can can learn from it you know um, when I was going through it I was I I, I wish you know there was somebody out there that's helping you know dads like there there isn't there's almost non-existent you know um in terms of helping fathers out there on youtube or you know elsewhere don't even don't even think about like community type places you know they're, they're never gonna help you i mean like um when like i you know what they always do is when you go to court they'd be like oh just seek legal assistance seek legal assistance there's free resources and all this bullshit right and you reach out to them the first thing they're gonna want is they're gonna want your social security number they're gonna want your income and all this bullshit and then right after you go through all that bullshit they're just gonna just say well Let's, you know, they're just going to um, help you in the public domain, which is you're going to have to compromise, right? You're going to have to follow them some bullshit ass statutes. Um, and, and all these lawyers, they're all operating like in a, in a hive mind kind of thing where they're all like completely obedient to the judge. Like they, they're, they pretend like, oh, like I'm, I'm a, you know. I'm fighting for you and I'm defending you, but as soon as you, you you go to court, the judge will just tell them to shut the fuck up and guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna shut the fuck up. And that's where it ends. Like there's what like what what you gonna do after they tell you to shut the fuck up? You're just gonna shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? They can't do nothing for you, man. You're gonna have to take matters in your own hand, man. You know what I'm saying? So um <clears throat> So yeah, um, so basically Thomas J. Walsh, man, like, as basically as soon as I I got that oath of office, man, he he just won't even deal with your boy, man. He he he's been escaping me for like five years, man. Five years or more, he's been escaping me. So so um, I guess um, that leaves us with Tara Adolf. Um, you know, I really find her last name very suspicious, you know, like out of like any name on earth, the person that has to be the one to ruin my son's life, last name is Adolf. Like you couldn't be a Smith or, you know, some other white person's name, but you had to be an Adolf. I mean, that just tells me like that. I mean, I automatically, you know, <laughs> have some preconceived notions because of that so but hey to each their own you know what i'm saying if i were you i would have changed that last name <clears throat> i would have i would have changed it to smith that's what i would have done but um <clears throat> yeah so you know tara adolf man this this chick man she's she's whack dude like she's the type of person that like she she just you know plays with with you know the 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 opposing party's emotions obviously she's getting paid and you know good by by the opposing party but the game that the game that she's playing is not fair man like she's 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 not honorable at all man i'm telling you like i've served this lady so much paperwork man like and and you know like you know, I'm not like trying to go, you know, bash her or whatever, but um, there was some weird thing that she did. Like, it wasn't until like years later I figured out that this this chick is actually a guardian litem. Like, on on a public side she's a guardian litem, and on the private side she's she's a private attorney. Like, that's that's completely unethical, man. You know, that's unethical. Like. Um, I, you know, I don't know whether that's illegal or not. You know, I don't, I don't follow their statutes, so I haven't looked too deep into it, but I don't know. I think that's unethical, man, because how are you going to be, 
like you're not supposed to be working in a public and private i mean like a lot you know a lot of these prosecutors like there they are they are in the private domain you know like as far as like you know even like when people catch criminal charges a lot of these prosecutors are they have like law firms that they work for and all that but i think to be a guardian of light i'm like that's you know that's whack man <laughs> like because because okay that would be like equivalent to a prosecutor being a defense attorney you know what i'm saying like it's it's unethical because um you know you have on one hand you have the you have the authority to to charge people for crimes and then on the other hand to defend them like that's that's unethical man you know what i'm saying and and my son's guardian guardian litem is also a prosecutor believe it or not like that's so unheard of like i don't know man i don't know maybe that happens to a lot of people but i thought that was just weird you know what i'm saying <laughs> lee shootart yeah he he's a he's a guardian litem and a prosecutor you know it was crazy because i was actually helping one of my friends on on he had like a a little criminal charge on on a gun case and we we're going through his paperwork and all of a sudden i saw the prosecutor's name it was like lee shittart i was like what shittart you're you're out here prosecuting people and your guardian light them come on shittart come on shittart stick to one job man you probably you probably be better as a prosecutor than as a guardian you're you're a shitty as um guardian litem because you you can't even look me in the face because you know you're fucking wrong you know what i'm saying like like when i go to a hearing they they like they they all like wearing masks to like like so i can't like what do you you think i can't see you just because you're wearing your your mask like i can see your 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 eyes man it's all about the eyes i can see right into your soul you're fucking dirty you know what i'm saying you guys are dirty man you're fake, you're phony, you're dirty, you're unethical, you know what I'm saying, and it doesn't matter, you know, whether, whether or not, like, you know, I, you know, I'm able to, you know, hold you guys accountable for running my son's life, but at least I'm, I'm putting it out there, and, and maybe one day, you know, my son, if he, if he digs in, digs in deep he wants to he wants answers on you know what happened to his life he probably won't figure it out till like he's in his 30s you know what i'm saying he's got he had he had unless until up all the way up to he's like a grown-ass man is when he's gonna really figure out how bad you guys did him and maybe this video will be what he's looking for you know and maybe this video will help you know one kid in the future stopping you fucking criminals from ruining a child's life so i don't care even if it's one kid that i help that's good at least that's one kid that i'm stopping from you fucking scumbags from ruining you know what i'm saying you guys are fucking scumbags man seriously it's a shame like you like you guys are fucking public servants like you know earning whatever the fucking little money that you're earning little eighty thousand dollars and you know you think like you're all that like come on man you guys are whack man i'm serious like how do you even sleep at night well well let me guess you don't sleep at night because you're not even a fucking human no no fucking human will do this shit that you guys are doing man you guys disgust me man i'm serious like pitiful it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna just make as many videos as it takes. You know what I'm saying? To reach that one child that I'm that I'm gonna stop you guys from from ruining. Disgraceful, man. You guys think I'm just gonna just like keep quiet and just like let you guys just keep doing that bullshit that you guys do? Like, come on, man. I got receipts on y'all. This is just this is just a little a little um appetizer i haven't really like just just we we'll just wait and see man just wait this is just a little appetizer for you guys man we haven't gotten to the, the main course meal yet
Yeah, man, you guys are disgraceful, man. I'm serious. You're whack. You're a phony. I, 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 so, like, this bitch-ass shit tart, I, like, I sent him a bunch of paperwork, you know. So, I, you know, I sued this bitch-ass dude, you know. We end up in court, and, of course, they, 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 they took us to, like, some bullshit-ass court, you know, no no um even though i requested for a reporter they're never gonna have a reporter because they know what's gonna happen you know what i'm saying so i i um so you know after the court you know i was just like man dude you're dude you think like everything you did to my kid like don't worry man i'm gonna get back at you you know what i'm saying and this bitch ass dude like took it like as a threat you know what i'm saying like had like cops like following me and and doing all kinds of weird shit to me man like like you guys are whack man <laughs> i'm serious you guys are scared of just one little me and you have the whole for full force of the u.s government to help you and you're scared of little old me like like come on man i'm just somebody that that is fighting for one child that you ruined, you know, and you got so fucking scared, you had to run behind your tail to the U.S. government to help you, huh? Little shit dart. You disgust me, man. I know exactly what type of dude you were back in the day when you were young, man. You were the type of kid that was bullied, man. Shit dart, man. You're disgraceful, dude. I got zero respect for you, man. You got no honor, man. None whatsoever. None whatsoever, man. When when you get done with that bullshit ass prosecuting job that you do, man, reality's gonna hit you. Right now you you're protected from the system, you know? But but I've seen prosecutors that retire, man. Like you guys turn into a fucking ghost, like a fucking skeleton, man, because you're fucking all your bad deeds going to catch up to you, man. <laughs> it's good. They're like, you can't, you don't get away with nothing in this world, man. You don't get away with nothing, man. Like, okay, right now you're out here, you know, ruining lives. But don't worry, man. Just sit back in the next 20 years and see what happens to you, man. <laughs> We're patient, man. We're going to sit here and watch you, man. I'm going to watch you, dude. Bitch ass shit tart. You probably love Pop-Tarts, too, don't you? You're like a little chubby dude, man. Shit tart. Yeah, man. So, yeah, that's that was my experience with shit tart, man. He, he basically, he got so fucking scared. The dude, like, he did some weird shit, man. I don't know what he did. He, like, went to the government and told them whatever. Like, I don't know if he said I threatened him or what. But, uh... <laughs> Like, I remember the exact words that I said. I didn't threaten him. All I said was, like, I know what you did to my kid, but don't worry. I'm going to get you back. And he was like, walk away. Walk away. I was like, you sound like a little bitch right now, man. You sound like a bitch right now, shit dark. That's, that's what I thought when you were saying, walk away. All, almighty prosecutor acting like a little bitch little shit tart that's what I see you as your your new nickname is little shit tart yeah man so this is this is what I think about you know state of Wisconsin family court Brown County you know I pretty much said everything I needed to say. I mean, there's not much else to say other than just, you know, depend on how much you guys piss me off. I'm, I might start releasing some documents, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm I'm a Scorpio man. I'm patient, you know. What I'm saying I could wait. I could wait till till you're retired and then come after you. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have to do anything right now. I could just wait. I'm patient, man. You think I'm gonna just forget what you did to my kid? <laughs> 
No, nah, man. No, sir. No, sir. You you will be held accountable for what you did, man. Yeah, these these people, man, they they're just they're playing games with people's lives like it's some kind of like um, like it's like a movie, you know. They they know it's all they're acting, you know. They're acting. It's like a play in a the theater, you know. Um Broadway play and they are they you know, they're just, they got their little wigs and, you know, playing this character, you know what I'm saying? They know what they're doing. They think that what they're doing is all karma free because it's an act. They they believe because that's why they practice law. You know what I'm saying? They're not at law. They're just practicing law. You know, so they think that they're karma free because they're practicing. And what they do is they coerce people into consent. So they think that you know they're just gonna get away with it. You know, but you know. I don't think you well you are cuz cuz there is a doctrine of of um you know conscientious objection you know what I'm saying there are you know people that are conscious that are objecting to what you guys are doing so that that in itself will nullify your your so-called perception of consent Why you, why you think I gave you guys notices, right? To let you guys know I'm not part of your theater. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, man. <laughs> yeah, you will be held accountable for what you did for, to my kid, man. So, um, and guess what? And, and guess what? This video might help a, a, a kid in the future. You know what I'm saying? So, Who won in the end, right? You think you won just because you ruined the kid's life. Like, you helped the system. Ooh, good job, man. Good job. You did really good, you know? All right, guys. Uh, I'm done ranting on this. these fools, man. I ain't got shit else to say, man. If I feel motivated, I'll, I'll talk some more about it. If, you, if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about, I'll talk about it. Otherwise, um, until I make my next video.